Don't just barge yeah. in my room and wake me out my sleep and I'm laying there naked. Plaintiff Pamela James claims the defendant clogged her driveway with endless visitors, damaged her property, and didn't pay her rent. She's suing for $1,350. Defendant Lavanya Felizma claims the plaintiff made her life miserable with endless complaints. She's countersuing for $4,925 for emotional distress and breach of contract. The testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes. Yes. Thank you. This is case number 121 on the docket, James versus Felizma. Okay. We have the plaintiff, Pamela James. Yes. Good morning. Welcome. And you are suing the defendant, Lavanya Felizma? Yes. And Lavanya, she is suing you for $1,350 for two months unpaid rent and a broken vase. And you are countersuing the plaintiff for $4,925 for emotional distress and breach of contract. Yes. Okay, so let's start with you, Pamela. What is your case? I am here, of course, to uh, sue the defendant for um, two and a half months' worth of unpaid rent. Yeah. In June, it was approximately, I believe, June 15th, 2019, uh, I rented a room to her in my home. Yes. This is to her, and at the time, uh, she had a one-year-old son. Yes. I would say, basically, we had a cordial relationship yeah. for a while. She was in my home for about a year and four months. Oh, okay. Um, at some point, we just really not began to see things eye to eye. Okay. I did give her an, a written agreement when she came into my home. Mm -hmm. We went over some things, it was you know, very basic. However, I did have a separate conversation with her about company. There are other people that live in my home and um, it's a shared environment. Company would be an issue if it's on a frequent basis. Um, it wasn't until the pandemic that, you know, I'm literally looking out my window, we're in the midst of the pandemic, we're under quarantine, I see people leaving my home. At that point, again, I addressed company. I'm like, we're in the quarantine, you know, and people were not coming in wearing masks at okay. all. So I addressed the issue at that time, and this is like not that long ago. Anybody that comes in the house, Judge, I always text her and let her know who's coming to the house. I don't have to do that because I pay rent. That's my privacy. This is, this is private, okay? My I don't have to do that for her, okay? But I do that because it's her house. Okay, and I, I, I think it's, you know, it's, it's, it's good for me to let her know who's coming in her house, because that's the respect I give to her. When did this finally come to, and that you wanted her out? There was an evening where someone picked her up, and the person was in my driveway. It was like late at night, kind of late. Um, I couldn't get in the driveway, and I, you know, waiting for them to pull out, and I said, this cannot happen again. Okay. What about the driveway situation? All lies, because she's crazy at the end of the day. When I didn't have my car at the end of May, I had people coming to pick me up. Sure. Now, my rides come in a driveway. They come, they pick me up. I have my son, two-year-old son, okay? The street we live on, can I show you the picture? Yes, please. The street we live on, it's not a lot of parking all the time. She know it's a busy street, and there is never no parking on that street. Then I have another picture of the driveway, Judge. I work 40 hours a week, so I'm coming in and out every day, okay? So I'm not staying in the driveway for a long okay. time to give her enough time for her to act crazy, what she does. On the contract, she didn't say it was gonna be a problem, because when I moved in, I figured, okay, this street is busy, I don't like it, but it's a driveway here, safe for my son to get in and out the car. That's what I'm worried about. There's also the issue of the Broken base. Boss. Just tell me about it. Now, that. so it was last year, January, okay? I called her, not even called her, I texted her. I said, you know what, Pam, my son broke a vase. So she called me, she's like, oh, Lavonia, you know, just, you know, be careful, watch Johan, it's okay. I have three more in my garage, the same one. That's what she said, don't worry about it, okay? Now, she wanna file this case against me, now she putting a vase in the situation. That's a lie, we're under oath, and you know you said it. Okay. She's a liar. But that's mm -hmm. for $50. $50. Yes, that's right. Yes. Yes. And okay. I told her that I was going to pay for it. And she told me, don't worry about it. I yeah. didn't have to. Okay. All right. You're a liar. Crazy. You, and okay. you're crazy and a so, liar. So the counter suit you're saying is emotional distress and breach of contract. What is the breach of contract? This lady just violates my privacy. She thinks she could do whatever she want to do, okay? I don't know what landlord think they could walk in people's spaces when they pay rent just doing anything. Like, she she acts like she was my mother, okay? So she walked, it was one time she walked in my room. 
She heard the AC, okay? She didn't think I was in my room, laying naked in my room, and she just walked in. I said, oh, I'm sorry, I heard the AC. That's none of your business. The AC's in my room, it's on, I'm in here. Next time you come in the room, just call me. Don't just barge yeah. in my room and wake me out my sleep and I'm laying there naked, cause you heard the AC on. That's one situation. Then another situation, when she walked in the room, right? You know what you did. She walked in my room, okay, and turned off the AC after she texted me. She said, Lavonia, um, your AC's on, it's an impact on my bill. I said, okay, I'm on my way. I'm coming down to turn it off. She already had texted me back and said she already turned it off. We need I the text. Never, I she never the text. gave her, I never <laughs> gave her that permission to go into my room. Okay. Why yeah. would you go into her oh, room? Um, I thought that she was not there. It was on a day and a time okay. that I remember that Call she me. normally wouldn't be there. I would never burst into someone's room. And I, I literally burst in because I, I not only heard it, but I can feel the AC. I, I, I'm the one that pays the bill. That's the only thing that was on my mind. So what, and in no way, that, shape, or form on, did on. I try to you know, yeah. impose on her privacy. I, I literally was just trying to turn the AC up. I, Genuinely thought she was not there. I believe it was on a day and at a time when she normally was not there. And okay. I thought she left it running. What about the police being called? She called the cops on me, okay, one day. I was minding my business. I don't know why she called the cops on me, okay? I was packing, this is what happened. I was packing my things and putting it in the car, cleaning out my room. She seen me put my things in the car, pulled up in the driveway and said, you're gonna get out, you're gonna get out today, 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 you're gonna get out. I said, I turned around and said, who are you talking to? She said, I'm talking to you, I'm gonna get the cops now, I'm gonna get the cops. Sped out the driveway, okay, and then went to drive to the police department. Now, when the officer came to the house and she let the officer in and he came knocking on my door. So as he comes in and he knocks on my door, I open the door, he said, what's the situation? I told him, I don't know why she called the cops. I'm just moving things out the room. I don't, I don't talk to this Is lady. Is this when you were leaving the place? No, I was just oh, cleaning, I just see. getting okay. stuff out the room, putting it in my car, you know, getting stuff together because now I gotta rush and leave the house because of this stuff that's going on. She's forcing me to leave, okay? So when the officer came, he's sitting in front of the door trying to talk to me to get my side, and she keeps coming in between me and the officer saying, you need to just pay me my rent, pay me my rent, you ugly, big, black, ghetto bitch. Those are her words, right. okay? The officers, they witnessed that. It okay. was so crazy, Your Honor. The officer had to walk her out of her own house. That was my reaction, my emotional distress to having this person in my home. That did not just happen. This was probably about a month of her living in my home, not paying rent. I feel as though I'm living in a hostile environment. I, there's nothing I can do about it. I filed for eviction, but I'm still forced. I'm living with a human being in my home in a hostile situation because okay. we're not on a friendly, on friendly terms in my own home. And that was my, it literally, I was at my wit's end. Okay. That was my reaction. All right, here's what I really see. Felt. I'm going to give you the $50 search for the breaking of the bars and that you in the, even agreed to doing it. Right. So the last two months, you're suing for the rent for the last two months. And yes. I can understand you would want rent paid. The law is pretty clear is when there's a dispute on a contract or on a lease, if it's a close case, the tendency is to give a little bit of space to the one who didn't write the lease, the theory being yes. that no one is going to submit the lease for signature if it's against their own interest. So that very last month, I'm going to consider it constructive eviction, that it was an impossible situation, so I'm not going to make you pay for that last month. But for one of those months, you are entitled to the rent. Okay. Because I could understand a landlord that doesn't get rent for two months is going to lose his or her temper and get angry. So your suit was for two months rent and the $50 for the broken yes. vase, vase. <laughs> I'm gonna give you one month's okay. rent, not make her pay two, just one month's rent and the $50. On the counter suit, I'm dismissing that because I've given you the arguments for why I think it's fair that you not have to pay the two months rent. So I find for the plaintiff in the sum of $700. I believe I was living with an opportunist. Um, she's a person who took advantage of me and my home. I am absolutely not crazy. Do not rent from this lady because she will give you a hard time and she will violate your personal space.